The Brandon Ayuk saga is over. N n I want to say, like, George Kittle's coming on the show. Who's more excited than, than Ayuk, than Kittle? Me. I am, because we don't have to talk about it anymore. Media is taking, like, a huge victory lap around their couches this morning with their coffee. Like, this is a great thing. He signs a four-year, $120 million deal. Hallelujah. To stay with the Niners. I love it. What does it make him? He makes him the fourth highest paid wide receiver in the league right now. Tied with Amon Ra and Tyreek making 30 mil a year. And he deserves it. Damn it. He deserves it. He has the highest passer rating when targeted of any receiver in the NFL over the past two years. He's as good as it gets. I don't have to explain that to anyone out there. And it's why I never really expected the Niners to trade him. I'm sure there were points that it got sticky and, uh, you know, leverage, leverage and leaking things and, you know, who didn't get along at certain moments, whatever. Um, nothing that they acquired for him would have offset the loss. That's the truth. And they got a Super Bowl to win, baby, period. And there's unfinished business here. And, yeah, it might mean they might have to sacrifice a key piece to say under the cap next year, but that's next year. And that's what, you know, let's be where our feet are, where, like all these NFL players say they do, uh, especially if they're going to pay Brock. They're going to be in a tough situation. But honestly, if there's one team that I am okay with pushing the chips in on the NFC side and saying, F the future, F the picks, like a la little nod to their division rival, Wes Neen and company. It is the San Francisco 49ers. They've had their their um, panache, their pedigree, their sustained run of success without a Lombardi to show for it. Okay, this is the year to cash in. Get it done. And they knew what they had to do. Get Ayuk on board, figure out the rest later, hide some decimal points, put some money under the mattress, find a way. Um, now go get Trent taken care of, by the way, <laughs> out of this Monday game and win a Super Bowl.